Hello everyone and welcome to Hidden on the Trail of the Ancients. Hidden is uh, an adventure game. It takes place in Patagonia, so the southern half of Argentina, and it apparently features Lovecraftian horror or horror based on stories of Lovecraft and Blackwood. That's pretty much the only thing I know about this game. I just got it, I haven't played it yet. It looked very interesting though, so let's not waste any time and dive right into the game. So, inventory, goats, and menu. Sounds straightforward enough. I knew it at that time. Things would no longer be the same. Those torturous memories would wander in my mind forever. Forever. I owe it to my uncle for my devotion to the ancient world, mainly to a strange and forgotten legend he told me when I was very young, the legend of the ancients. The legend goes that even before man appeared on earth, there existed an imposing city, or maybe hundreds of cities, governed by a primeval ruling race that mysteriously vanished. It's said that the city became submerged in time and forgotten. A mere few of us hold on to the belief that there are still some vestiges left, buried deep underground. The expedition organized by my uncle and Nico over the last few years is finally to depart from Baralok, one of the last villages to the south of the continent, to the unexplored Patagonian woods. Meanwhile, I was in Buenos Aires, following up a clue about the almost forgotten legend, but soon I joined the expedition. Here we are, we're in a dark room and we've got some sort of ancient runes. Yeah, okay, that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? I woke up agitated. It was a cold autumn morning, and yet again, this time with even more intensity, I had one of those nightmarish visions. I was surrounded by the books and writings of Adriano Scapelli, a colleague of my uncle's, who'd supposedly found proof of the existence of the old legend. 
My inquiries as to Scapelli's whereabouts led me to an old boarding house in the neighborhood of San Telmo, where he'd spent his final years. This is my last day. I can't stay here any longer, nor do I wish to. I need to gather the proofs that Mr. Scapelli mentions in his letters and leave as soon as possible in order to join the expedition. Hint, X your daily goals, pressing the letter G on your keyboard. All right, let's do that. You must gather information about Adriano Scapelli. For this, I have to find a way into what used to be his room. Mr. Scopelli talked about a strange circular diagram in his vision, but find information regarding this diagram. I must find the artifact which Adriano Scopelli mentioned in his letter to Inico. This artifact could somehow be related to the Ancients. Ooh, and the Ancients written with a capital T and a capital A, so it has to be important. Which is go, there's a help button, question mark. It will give you some hints if you click it, but remember, good adventurers don't need them. Okay, so this is tempting, but of course... Uh, we won't start cheating right away, so... This looks like a very classic interface. So let's check out these letters. An exhausting and difficult path, but at last we found our way into Machu Picchu. The sun followed us with a heavy eye, guarding history and to witness my journey. It's much empowering, this view of the world, this closeness to light, and with our tools already deployed, and the task begun, I cannot wonder what fragments of the past will be brought to the present. A local native guide us to a place nearby where livestock farmers discovered a cave by accident. He uttered these words, almost devoid of feeling. Ukupacha. This is the name of the world below, according to the Inca mythology. Every crack in the earth, every space beyond the surface belongs to the world below, as to death and, un and the unborn. This fortunate accident revealed an uncharted access to the Ukupacha for the geologists to determine how this came to happen, but I would suggest a mild earthquake, which are not uncommon in this region. Others, more inclined to the dramatic, will write about the earth screaming from inside, foolishly denouncing how progress mistreats the essence of life. After some sleep, we crossed this threshold. A paradox became evident rather quickly as we moved forward with such a massive body of rock spanning in every direction and yet so little space to move through. Narrow passages of limestone, barely apt for an explorer, opened here and there, quietly conspiring against my attempt to reach a relevant destination. Ever deeper down to the dark underworld, human time seems lacking, as it prevents us men from comprehending the magnitude of ages. Ooh. Ruin balls, while well, those symbols look like symbols I saw in my dreams or visions, this is extraordinary. Ruined walls cut off the mountain itself, giving sense to the untamed relationship between the elements of nature. These walls cut through the, the bowels of an Inca empire, stepping the rock to create structure, giving home to other small buildings. A mesmerizing discovery. What else is hidden here in the shadows? So much work to do. I'm afraid our resources might not be enough to document this finding. A sort of temple, no doubt. A temple of Ukupacha, as I have decided to call it. Also so can be thought from the existence of relics and evidence of ritual um, decapitations, as well as the unrecognizable inscriptions and this peculiar object that caught my attention. Alright, that all sounds pretty mysterious. What does this do? Oh, okay, it just gives, brings me back, so... Anything else I can check out? Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> so, I wonder what this is. And this means of the cult, of the god of. I don't know what fetiches means, to be honest. So, yeah. Work in history, four volumes. Okay, can I take this? Doesn't look like it. But I can examine another of the many diaries I found in Scopelli's office, where he narrates his numerous travels across the continent. All right. Yes. So let's take this. Incredible Adventures by Algeron Blackwood, which, by the way, is an actual... Uh, well, he uh, he's no longer alive, but he was an actual author in, if I remember correctly, in the early 20th century or maybe the late 19th century. He has written pretty good horror stories, and he, from what I know, was a pretty significant influence on Lovecraft. So, yeah. 
That's sort of a shout out. Ooh, a key. And a hint. Access your inventory by pressing either the right mouse button or the letter I on your keyboard. Yeah, since we are an adventurer, we have to take every object that's takeable. That's just adventure game logic. The mind of primitive man. The elementary forms of religious life. Okay. And history of religion. Okay. Mm. The regal animal. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So and what do we have here? I'm not ready to leave yet. Ah, okay, so so that's my stuff. So let's check out what's over here. Seems frame rate is stuttering a bit. I apologize for that. So let's Dear check Uncle, out what's here. I'm staying in the next room to where your old university colleague Adriano Scapelli resided. I found this boarding house through a contact at the Science Museum, who told me that after his long research journeys, Mr. Scapelli finally settled in the boarding house of Mr. Nikolai Petrov, renting a room there for years. Sadly, I must communicate that Mr. Scapelli died not a month ago. Those few who saw him noticed that he was frail, thin, restless. According to what the owner remembers, he was an especially hermetic person. And in recent months, when it became clear his sanity was slipping, he barely left the room. Mr. Petrov is a good man, a few words, and strict regarding the access to Scapelli's goods. He's a Russian immigrant, a decorated veteran of the Great War, and full of anecdotes I'm sure you'll be interested to hear. I've been able to find a number of books and writings of Mr. Scapelli's in his office at the museum. I compiled my analysis on the data that could be useful for our research and enclose in this letter. I need access to Mr. Scapelli's room to get more information, including the device that he wanted to give you, but it's condemned. Reparations had been initiated shortly after his death, but just a few days later they were put on hold under a bizarre police order. The order decrees that all items in the room remain untouched. No explanation was offered. So far, my attempts to make Mr. Petrov understand how important the findings could be for our research have been futile. He's currently with other occupations, and he's stalling my numerous requests. I hope to find another solution to this problem as soon as possible. A warm greeting from Buenos Aires. Thomas. Okay, that's already kind of suspicious. So let's check out these drawers. Interesting. So, can I check out these drawers too? Yes, I can. Ooh, see cars. And yeah, I can take this. Or can I? Romex cigar? Okay. That's a, is that a letter opener, maybe. Okay, it's just the same. I've already had this. So, let's check my inventory. I've got this key. Wait, whoa, whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. So, the key for the car I borrowed, and this is the key for my room. Okay, so it's not the key for the guy's room. And I just borrowed a camera. My lovely photo photography camera. Okay, so. Apparently, I didn't borrow it. It was already mine, so... And can I check out anything here? Nope, doesn't look like it. So whoever that guy was. And we've got ink wells, I guess. Okay, Tramway Anglo Argentino. Okay, interesting. Anything else? Nope, it's just the same. So... What do we have here? Just a bunch of books. Does look like I can check those out. And let's see what's over here. You left your keys here. That's not possible. Oh, that's my car keys. Yeah. X the help screen and your findings from the main menu. Okay, so findings. 
Find the objects or moments which you can unlock through the adventure. These are optional and will help you learn more about the characters and the story. Okay, so I apparently have four to unlock, but I haven't found any yet. So and this is apparently the help button, but no need to use that right now. So let's just continue. So... Okay, so my room is next to that guy's room, so I presume that is that guy's room. According to my conversation with Mr. Petrov, this should be Adriano Scopelli's room. Okay, it's locked. What a shock. So, I'm just going to try my key. It's not worth a second try, okay. So here are pots. Okay, can I do anything here? Maybe the key is actually hidden in one of those, but I don't think it is, so nope, doesn't look like it. So, there's some sort of button here and a bird cage, but doesn't look like I can do anything here, so look at that flamingo. So let's just go down here and let's check out that flamingo. Anything here? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I kind of like the atmosphere and the graphics of this game. I mean, it's not, it, of course, 3D graphics, but not 3D in the sense that you can actually freely move. It's more like a classic adventure game, but I kind of like this. Can I take these coins here? Nope, doesn't look like it. And in my opinion, it allows the game to have better graphics in a certain sense. So. And to be honest, I don't really mind as long as the atmosphere is good. I'm fine. What's this? A sink. Can I do anything with it? Doesn't look like it. So. What's over here? A bunch of bottles. Which I apparently cannot check out. So. Alright. The moldy smell of the room lingers. Even out here in the hall. Okay, let's check out these notes. Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky, a classic Russian ballad. Okay, looks sad. This beautiful marble sculpture reminds me of someone I know. Privado. Okay, so. It's just a painting. So let's see what we have here. A great collection of nice music boxes. It's so sad that they are such a bad condition. Okay, anything else I can take here? A beautiful music box. It has a fine carved wood. So anything else here? Nope, doesn't look like it. So maybe here? It's definitely locked. Okay, so it's already second locked door. We have to take care of because I mean it's an adventure game if the door is locked we have to open it sooner or later so can I get through here it's obviously locked so wow it's just too many locked doors here all right so let's see what's here checkerboard and ooh peanuts okay so Mm, interesting situation, at least in the sense that both both sides have um, the same pieces left. Okay, I'll, if, if that's supposed to be like a chess rule, I'm going to solve it later. Perucci records. Okay. Wow, I, I, they just took that gramophone. Okay, so I just I think I just snatched that wonderful selection of classical music, tango and jazz. It's a pretty good combination. I like all those styles of music, especially jazz. So, ooh, fruit, and I think those are peanuts. An oven. 1930s television. And let's check out this door. Okay, but before we check out 
In this room, let's check out this, this place room. is in serious need of a spring clean. That is true indeed. Look at this. It's locked, of course it's locked, because everything's locked. So... We need to break into a private room. Yes, yes, there is need, because I'm pretty sure that's required to progress. We need to break into a private room. No. Okay. Maybe later. So... Big padlock prevents access. Can't get it from here, so... Ooh. That looks like a hangman's rope. Ooh. Four rusted screws firmly hold the gate in place. I'm afraid I will not be able to remove with my bare hands. Okay, so we need some tools. I sense a puzzle incoming, so what's this? A wheel to roll up a hose. It looks like it can still do its job. Alright. That's good, I guess. So, anything else here? Nope, doesn't look like it. And what are these records doing here? Never mind. I need to break into a private room. Okay, so. Um, anything else here? More private rooms, and this door is not locked for once. Oop, it seems tools. the workshop hasn't been used for years. Okay. Do we have some sort of screwdriver here? Yes, we have. Excellent. Exactly what I need. And I'm going to take this stuff here because if you can take it, you're probably going to need it. Can't take anything of this. Doesn't look like it. And anything else here? It's locked. Okay, of course it's locked. <coughs> That's There's a lot of dust and rusty tools all over the place. Was that wire or so? Whatever it was, if I can take it, it's probably important. So. Can I switch the light on? Nope. The lamp barely works, would be wise not to touch it, okay. It's probably going to explode when I touch it, which raises the question in how was it even burning when this workshop has been used for years? And had the that light bulb burning for years? It seems unlikely. Anyway. Screwdriver. And file, okay. Screwdriver, let's start. It's not working. Maybe if you could pull them out somehow. Oh come on. Oh yeah, that's that's not actually that kind of screw. Um, okay. Did I ever look at you? Don't think I did. Mm, maybe I did. Nope, doesn't look like it. Working could be very useful. Okay, can I like use stuff here? It's not useful for that, so... Nope. Um, camera? Nope. Mm, let's try the gramophone, which I'm actually carrying around. Yeah, but adventure protagonists have hyperspace pockets, so it's not really surprising. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. It's locked. Can I file it open? That's not possible. Yeah, that's not really surprising. Have to try something else. Okay. Oh, can check out this box. A clock, which I'm sure will be useful at one point. Pretty much about as useful as the gramophone. So, what else do we have here? So, and I can't take that. It's disappointing. Okay. So. Ah, yes, yeah, private rooms. So, sorry, forgot about that. So, let's see what's over here. Nothing really. Alright. Hmm. Can I file this open? I doubt I can. Unless I'm the legal boys. Nope, not still open. That's not entirely true, but I see what you mean. So. I think I already tried this. Doesn't seem reasonable. Okay. okay. Whoops. So let's just check out the hall again. 
anything I overlooked. Pipe. Locked. Of course it's locked. I don't think I can break these doors open. Usually you can't break doors open. You always have to like do stuff. That's special to get these doors open. I think I already checked these out. Yes, I did. So... Maybe... Wait, did I already... Oh, yeah, I came through here. Or did I? Yes, I did. So... Privado. Yeah, check that out as well. Did I check out... The oh, I did not. Oh, hello. Mr. Farrell, during your absence your uncle called. I left a message on the table under the phone. As for the access to Scapelli's room, I'm sorry, but I remember we should wait until police investigations are complete. Well, I'm sorry, but I must continue my work. I have a lot of backlog. You have a lovely collection of music boxes. I see you've been watching the beautiful collection of music boxes. They belong to my late wife. My dear Natasha was always fascinated by those melodies. She began her collection since childhood and used to listen always before bedtime. Unfortunately, I'm old and clumsy. I couldn't keep them in good condition, and now none of them work. I regret this. Excuse me, but I, I reckon I could fix the music box with a wooden cover. I've taken a look and it doesn't seem to be in too bad shape. I need to confess that you left me thinking about Natasha. Do you really think you could fix that little music box? It would mean a lot to me. Listening again to those beautiful melodies I shared with my wife would be very beautiful memory. And I would be very thankful. With the workshop at the end of the courtyard, you might find some tools that may be useful. Here you are, the key to open that beautiful music box. Have you been thinking about it? Will you let me enter the room? Mr. Scapelli possessed valuable information. He was going to give me an item that he found on his expedition that could shed some light into our research. I understand your intentions, Mr. Farrell. But the police order I received clearly says I shouldn't let anybody get into the room. But maybe I could persuade the officer on his next visit. You go. Okay. Does anyone else dialogue. ask for Mr. Scapelli? Just the local policeman. He arrived a few days after. By then, I had not been able to contact any family member to tell them the news, or arrange for the collection of the possessions. He is a person of few words, asked me some questions and immediately went into the room. Could you tell me how the inspection turned out? Do you think he found something of interest? After I told him what had happened, he entered the room. He seemed to be looking for something in particular, but I did not want to interfere. I left him alone for a while and then he came to the reception with some old tattered books. They seemed to be written in archaic languages. Most strange. However, he did not seem to have found what he was looking for. He asked me if anyone else had been there and then left. I have not heard from him again. Is there anything else you can tell me about Adriano Scapelli? In his letters he comes across as worried and scared. During his last days, only a few times I saw him leave his room in the day. But at night he used to often visit the basement. Especially after he acquired a particular item. He was fascinated by it. Sometimes I could hear him whispering. But they were strange words in languages I couldn't place. I remember one night I found him smoking in the hallway. He looked tense, nervous. I approached him with the intention of seeing how he was, but he just told me he could not sleep. Did you say a basement? That's right. The boarding house has a small basement, which is access from the workshop. It has been years since I used it. Scapelli was one of my best customers, so I decided to lend it to him. He kept there several objects of study and collection. Unfortunately, I do not have the access key. It was in the possession of Mr. Scapelli. 
what could you tell me about the piece that had Scapelli so interested? The only thing he told me was that it was a very old idol found in the African Congo. I could not say anything more about it, even I haven't seen it in person. But he was very interested in the study of that piece. Hmm, another go. Alright, let's leave this guy alone for now. Let's check out this. Whoa, that looks weird. Is that a child in a soldier's uniform? Children? That girl looks creepy. A woman? Those are apparently Russian, Russian soldiers, so yeah, that guy is a great war veteran. And I guess that's his wife, maybe. Anyway, so let's check out this note here. Thomas Farrell, call from your uncle, uncle Emko. Mr. Vikrama has arrived earlier than expected, so the expedition team is is ready to set its course to the Patagonian forests. Please gather all the items we discussed and come join us at the base camp as soon as possible. Alright. And I don't think I can check out this stuff here. Okay, so let's just check. So I need the information, diagram. I need to fix his his wife's music box. And so yeah, and I have to check out whether or not that officer already took what I need from that room. Probably not, unless it's there to drive the plot. So where were those music boxes? Were they over there? Yep. There we go. New goal is probably to fix the music box. And then to bribe the old Russian guy into letting me into that room. So let's go to that workshop. Here we go. Let's take the music box and I guess maybe a screwdriver. I have to try something else, so maybe file. Oh yeah, I need to open it with the key, obviously. So, car key, music box key, yeah. Okay. So, it's no longer usable, but I think I could replace it with a similar one. Okay. So I need, need this cockwheel style thing. Does it make sense to replace damaged cockwheel with this? I need to find something similar, so can I wire? No, I don't think so, but let's just try it. Nope, of course not. Okay, so I need to find something similar to this cogwheel. Question is, where do I get that? Let's check out this stuff here. And let's see what's in my inventory. Gramophone, okay clock maybe there's something like that in the clock so let's let's give it a go oh yeah i nope it's not what i meant to do nope i wanted to open it there we go so okay <laughs> i don't want to place with the clock and uh, maybe uh, i thought there was something in the clock that i could be used so Maybe I have to take this and take put the clock here. Yep, that works. Use screwdriver with the clock. Nothing to unscrew. Maybe break it open. Nothing to file here. Okay. Uh, wire. Doesn't make sense. Can't take any of this. Not really. Okay. Uh, Doesn't seem a good place to leave it without making it glide night. Okay, so mm, I have to do something with the clock, obviously, at least I think I have. Why is there nothing to unscrew? You'd think you could open the screwdriver, so 
Yeah, gramophone obviously not. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, that was... That was easy. And then side. Hmm, I recognize this model. This brand of clocks has never... This was never good. The clock wheels tend to get rusty and the clock stops working altogether after a short time. Okay, so... Low quality clock, but doesn't change the fact that I need these cock wheels. And they have a bunch of cock wheels, so... Man. Genius. So... Now let's get this music box here, then let's open it, and then let's use these cogwheels with this. Okay. That kinda worked. I didn't hear any sound, so... Oh. Okay, so I can adjust this. Okay. This doesn't seem to do anything. Neither does this. Maybe this? Nope. Here? No. I mean, I have to stimulate these these teeth here, so... Okay, okay, so... Don't have any cogwheels left. I took multiple, but it seems I just used them thematically, so... But none of these six positions seems to do anything, so... But I guess I have to be, like, on top of this cogwheel here. think so open it back in front does not work okay so it still doesn't work so well maybe the solution may be obvious maybe you're just sitting there and screaming with the screen saying tax albert oh, don't do this so we have to screw something here but I can't really interact with these objects here so the only thing I can really do is the change the position of this um, this element here. Hmm. But it doesn't seem to do anything, so hmm. Pretty sure. It takes a file again, so I can't really use any objects here. So Oh wait wait a second. Oh, haha. That's the file here. Just to unscrew. Maybe I have to put oil on it? I mean, he mentioned those those cogwheels are rusty. Or, um, yeah, maybe I can't really use an item with that. Maybe it's just... So I can use these, these things here. So, aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Let's take this. And what happens now? So this cock wheel here seems to be too small. Question is how do I get or is it? Yeah, because the cylinder here isn't moving, so the question is where do I get a larger cock wheel? I can't really seem to be able to take this one here away. So anything oh yeah, ha. Huh. There we go. So this one is obviously broken, so... There we go. That was a little slower than necessary. So let's get to back to the Russian veteran. He was here, I think. Fixed in music box. Photos of the Russian what army. What about that photo? Was that taken during the Great War? You're in it, right? 
That's right. This is one of the many pictures I keep from my comrades. When I was in the ranks of the Imperial Russian Army. I was in the front during the beginning of the Great War, 1914, when the troops were mobilized to Konigsberg. After these terrible battles, I promised my wife that if I survived, we would move far away from those memories. From war. And, well, <laughs> here you have me, several years later. Here you go. Just like new. Mr. Farrell. I must admit, you did a great job. I never thought I would be able to listen to those melodies again. I won't forget this. Now, let's abuse the situation. It would only be for a moment, I promise. It would be really helpful to me. I'm sorry. No matter how much you insist, I won't change my mind. What? Come on, I fixed that music box for, for you. Now that's just sad. The question is... Oh wow, <laughs> that's an absolutely massive Russian Imperial flag. I'm not really sure how I overlooked that previous time. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And we're going to check out Scapelli's room next time. So yeah, if you like this, uh, feel free to leave a like or a comment. And leave your thoughts on this game in the comment section. I like it so far, it's quite atmospheric. And the first puzzle wasn't too bad. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.